Buying a yearling can be a risky and expensive venture if one is inexperienced when it comes to the selection of horses based on their pedigrees. Over time, stud books have served an important function and have endeavoured to maintain records of all thoroughbreds that race at all recognised race courses in the world. By definition, a thoroughbred is a horse whose ancestry can be traced back to one of the three founding stallions and one of the 74 founding mares. However, even to the most experienced and discerning expert, the science of studying a pedigree chart may not always prove to be exact. In fact, despite the care taken in determining a mating pattern of a mare to a stallion, often the results prove to be costly for the owner. One method of increasing one's chances of success when purchasing a horse is by a study of the leading sires list. Statistics play an extremely important role when purchasing a racehorse and a sire list is in essence a statistical record of each sire's accomplishments during the year. It allows for one to attribute rates of success in what is a very subjective area. There are many types of leading sire lists and each one has a different use. A general sires list will take into consideration every single progeny of each sire that has raced during the period in question. A leading juvenile sires list on the other hand will take into consideration only the statistics concerning the juvenile runners of each sire on that list. While there are many more such types of lists, the most commonly used is the general sires list. A general sires list will provide a track record of all sires performances for a specific region over a specific time frame, generally a year. For the region of Singapore, for example, since the 1st of August 2008, the general sires list will show that Langfer is the leading sire on the general sires list. Langfer has had a total of seven runners, and three of these seven runners have won. His total earnings for the three-month period is approximately $161,000 and this is what has placed him on top of the list. While this list is an extremely important indicator, it's important to remember that this list must be used along with other lists, statistics and NIC results for the best success rates.